What's up, y'all? We are out here at the Malcolm Yards in Minneapolis, Minnesota. What it is, it's about eight different food vendors and bars inside of a little industrial looking uh, area here in uh, Minneapolis. It's beautiful. The food looks amazing. I'm looking at this spot about Yo, which is actually one of my homies from culinary school who ended up being one of my sous chefs, or who ended up being a sous chef at a restaurant that I worked at, Belcor, run by Gavin Casey in Minneapolis or NYZ, I think it was. But yeah, there's a lot of food here. We're gonna try a lot of different food and hopefully eat something delicious and tasty. And be inspired. This is the trips, man. This is fine dining, markets, uh, Malcolm Yard voted top five. What are you starting with? Fish chicken. Because that's apparently what he's known for. Oh, honey! <laughs> okay, I should have dosa. White sauce, whatever the heck this is. <laughs> that sauce is spicy too. Uh -huh. No, this is a coconut sauce. This is dope. You look hungry, so make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to help feed me too because I gotta eat. And check out this video where we meet the chef from Ed Vellum and he comes and talks to us at the table right now. Wheat and soy. Oh. Uh, but everything else on that dish is vegan. Vegan? Oh, like nice. The kimchi is vegan and everything. The sauce and everything. Looks delicious. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Nice to see you. Thank you. Wow. Chef hooked it up today with this slamming salmon. You see that? Look at this thing. Look at that thing. Specializing in vegetable eatery. Slamming salmon from a yo. Check it. Ooh. Ooh. She'll probably like that. She likes salmon. Try some? Diverse. Just make sure nothing's spicy on there. Ooh, mm. yummy. Oh, this is all like fresh tasting. The dishes we tried were delicious and tasty and well balanced with texture and flavor. You definitely gotta try these. Scallion pancakes. Ooh, sorry, I just cut into it without even. I know. I'm so, I'm so, whatever, I'm going in. <laughs> this is dope. Sometimes I eat this really spicy. I need to get a little bit of. This looks spicy though. Mmm. <laughs> I'm not expecting that. Let me try. I'll try. That's freaking yo. You gotta remake that. Mm. Mm. It's good. Oh yeah. Right? I love that pancake too. Yeah. If you find yourself in Minneapolis, Minnesota, I definitely recommend you check out one of the food courts, including Malcolm Yards. I will say Malcolm Yards is one of the bigger areas, and we went around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and it wasn't super busy, but as we were leaving around 5 o'clock, it was getting packed. The parking lot was getting full, and people were just moving in, and it was getting crazy on a Tuesday, which was awesome and exciting. There's lots of things to do. You can sleep like my children, and you can also get desserts. We grabbed some ice cream here at Bebezito, which is one of our favorite ice cream spots in Minneapolis. They have multiple locations and we met the owners on this trip and they were super cool and super awesome to hang out with with the fam. So definitely come through, get some of ice cream because these flavors are unique and they change them pretty seasonally or quarterly. I'm not exactly sure, but they are so creamy. During our last vlog, I don't know if you remember, but we went to Minnesota for about three day trip and then we ended up eating at Pepezito two out of the three days we were there. So that says a lot. So, if you liked what you see, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and tune in for our next video of fine dining. With all this food, we gotta make sure we stay active and that's why the kids help us run around sometimes and this guy is gonna be a future baller. I'll see you in the next video. Let's get you to love food more.